shopping trips with family. Yeah, those were the days. Now it's all about the online hustle. Whether it's a new toothbrush or the latest TV, a single click gets it done. But what really goes down after you hit the buy online button? We are about to find out. We are here at Amazon India Fulfillment Center in Borakalan in Haryana, where all the magic happens. So let's dive into the behind the scenes action that takes place on your online shopping from a click to your doorstep. So it's not just about the click button. There is a whole universe behind it. And all of that work happens here in this facilitation center. To understand all of this, we have with us Abhijit, who is the Zona Director, North FC. So, Abhijit, tell us about this facility. How big is this facility? How many people work here? And there are how many facilities like this in uh, North India? So, first of all, uh, welcome to Amazon. Uh, I'm happy to share uh, that uh, this is one of the largest FCs uh, in India. Okay. Uh, so this FC has got a storage space of more than 1 million cubic feet okay. and in the Delhi NCR region we have uh, around 10 buildings like, and like these and uh, we have around uh, 3 million uh, cubic feet of storage space okay. and at a country level we are spread across uh, 15 states okay. and we are offering 43 million cubic feet to our sellers. Uh, we have uh, 1.2 million plus sellers in the network who are bringing their uh, inventory to us. We are storing it so that we can deliver it to our customers. The building has got a, has got more than 1 million cube uh, where we can store items. So as I can see all these aisles and there are some barcodes. So please uh, take us through how this works. Yeah, as I said, uh, these 1.2 million plus sellers, they bring their inventory in advance and in advance we keep, we can store this inventory. So how do I know which item is stored where? So this is a barcode and this is an address okay. for me that this particular item is kept over here. So as soon as you click the buy button, there is a complex backend algorithm mm -hmm. which uh, gives a pick command to okay. the picker associate and they know exactly on their RF scanner. Like you can see this is a picker okay. and she has an RF scanner mm -hmm. and on the RF scanner she gets the command as to which location to go and which item to pick. Okay. So she comes. She scans the location, she scans the item mm -hmm. and then she puts it in that tote. Okay. And now that tote will be dropped after the tote is full, mm -hmm. that tote will be dropped onto a tote conveyance system. So there is a conveyor which will take that tote to the packing area. Okay. So after the tote is full, they use that cart and they bring it to this conveyor. Okay. So as you can see, there are multiple drop points over here. And uh, the, when the pickers come, they come and drop onto these and then the conveyance system takes it automatically to the packing lines. Okay. There is an inbuilt logic inside these conveyors by which the conveyor knows which packing line this particular tote has to go. What is uh, Amazon doing in terms of machine learning and automation? Yeah. So first and foremost, as we saw in the picking, uh, there is the Amazon picking system, which is a background automation, which decides and tells uh, the picker where they have to go, where they have to pick and what item to pick. After that, the second piece of automation is the tote conveyance. This is an intelligent conveyor. This okay. conveyor has its own logics and algorithms, basis which it decides that which tote should go to which packing line. Then in the pack station itself, there is another boxing algorithm which tells the packer as to which particular box the packer has to pick so that the picker doesn't have to waste time and effort in choosing which box to be packed. Okay. After that, from the packaging line, we have another piece of automation which is known as SLAP. It is scan, label, apply and manifest. So before the item is manifested, we have an auto check weight so that we know that the right item is going to the right customer and then we manifest it and this is that it is decided as to which pin code and which mode of transportation it is going to take. Whether it will go by road, it will go by rail, things like that. So obviously let's go to the packaging uh, part and see how the packaging is done. Sabji, tell us uh, once it is put on the conveyor belt. Sure. Uh, how the boxes come and how do you know? How do you figure out the box there? And if you could add, because the government has uh, banned single-use plastic, what are you guys doing to, uh, you know, kind of uh, cut down the carbon footprint? As we saw, uh, the picker, uh, the the picker picked the item, kept them in the totes, and they put them on the conveyor. The conveyor leads us. This is the conveyor logic. Okay. It leads us to different different pack lines mm -hmm. and on different pack lines there are these pack stations. Mm -hmm. So we can see those totes which we saw in the picking, they have reached here. So this is a packer, this associate is uh, standing and uh, she is she's packing. And when she packs, as soon as she scans the item, the algorithm over there shows which box she is supposed to use. So there are so many boxes over here. So they don't have to worry which box they have to pack and they don't have to take any trial and error. 
the system prompts that is again a back end technology and this is the back end technology the box is decided now let's talk sustainability it's a very very important thing and uh, amazon is completely committed to the sustainability initiative we have multiple initiatives which are at a national level and which are also driven at a site level so first and foremost uh, we are seeing what is happening over here so 2020 we have eliminated the use of single use plastic in all our amazon buildings second here we are using paper tapes and paper dunnages okay. we have initiatives like uh, packaging free shipping okay. so for example if there is a packaging which is given to us by the seller and as per our systems if it is transport worthy we don't go ahead and add our amazon packaging okay. so that brings down our packaging requirement that also brings down our carbon so footprint how do you ensure that seller is not putting a single use plastic inside and uh, so we we continue to work with our sellers and make them aware of the uh, of the climate change and uh, basis that we, we work with them. You see a lot of young people working here. Uh, so why this place? Why Haryana? And what is the qualification for people who are doing this packaging and uh, you know sorting and shipping? That's one thing. Why especially this Haryana? How do you decide that you will have a big huge space? Uh, how much of it is electricity, land cost and what goes behind deciding to create a fulfillment center like on such a big scale? Uh, in order to decide, it, yeah. it all depends on the nature of the building. What is it? Is it an FC? Is it a thought center? Is it a last mile? And it also depends on uh, how close we want to be with our customers, with our sellers and with our associates. So it is a combination of the multiple inputs which come together and bring uh, to a decision point as to why Haryana or why a particular place, something like that. So for example, I can tell you that uh, for a fulfillment center, these are sizable buildings, these are big buildings. Uh, so in order to have these big buildings, generally they are towards the outskirts of the city. Uh, a sort center is basically the decision of what kind of pin codes you want to service, how do you want to sort them. That is something which drives the decision making in addition to other multiple factors. And the last mile delivery station is something which we want as close as possible to the pin code where we want to serve our customers. So our last mile stations are always in the heart of the city. How many years have you worked here? I have joined in 3 years. I have joined in 1 year 2020. How many hours have you worked here? Here there are 9 hours. There are 2 breaks. There are 8 hours. There are 10 hours. This is the skirt of Haryana. There is no doubt here. When the bus is on, there is no doubt here. What do you provide here? Do you get insurance? Yes sir. Transportation? Yes sir. ट्रांसपोर्टेशन कैसे मिलता है बस से जाती है आपके बस से मतलब बस आती है जो हम बस से नहीं आते हैं ऑटो वगैरह से आते हैं तो पैसे तीन करोड़ देने का आपको उसके पैसे मिल जाते हैं उसके पैसे मिल जाते हैं So that's a wrap from a behind the scene tour of the Amazon Fulfillment Center. We have seen how this crazy universe works from the click of the button to the package on your doorstep. Keep watching this space for more such videos. Till then, thanks for watching. Stay informed.